Hello, hello everybody. This is Sakalam. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please take a few, it's just a few seconds of your time. Click the subscribe button for me, would you please? Thank you so much. And if you're watching this on my Facebook um, page, um, which is also Sakalam Shawarma, um, take um, and uh, just click on the follow button. Yeah, and uh, we have over 152,000 followers and we would so love to have that grow um, with more followers. So welcome everybody. Um, just yesterday, I went outside, I um, used my 360 camera, Go360, and um, it was raining outside. I wanted to show you guys what it is when it's raining here in New Greenland, but uh, there's water all over the, the, the you know, on, on the on the lens and, and there's wind blowing and all of that. So it, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, the video that I expected, you know, it didn't turn out the way I expected it to. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do you guys a favor for those who are planning to travel and um, to Greenland, to New Greenland anytime soon. Um, this is what you're going to see uh, now. And uh, we are actually, according to the weather app, um, weather forecast, we, we just might be looking at an uh, extremely early winter. Um, this 2024 here in New Greenland, but uh, you know that's that's just bad news for me. <laughs> and, and but uh, it's it has been the the worst summer since I came here to New Greenland 2022. So, um, um, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out and we're gonna go for a walk. Show you the center. Show you this the city from um, where I'm staying right now. And I'm gonna show you around and take a look and see what Nook Greenland looks like when it's all soaking wet because of rain. So the rain has stopped for now. For now it has stopped and hopefully there's no wind and hopefully we'll get a better video and better images for, for the whole world to see. Okay, so hello everybody. Um, let's see, where should I begin? Um, perhaps, okay, perhaps we'll begin with um, living costs here in Greenland. If you see these huge, beautiful condo type apartments right here, um, one next to the other. Now, these apartments cost from 10,000 to um, sometimes would we'll go up to 20, 20 plus thousand each month. I'm sorry about the noise in the trucks. But this is a somewhat busy road. So that's the living cost. So basically the apartment that I am staying at um, costs, and because it belongs to an acquaintance of mine, I'm paying 80,000 in Philippine pesos. It costs 80,000 in Philippine pesos. So for those um, thinking about living here in Nuuk, you want to come to Greenland and, and just, you know, retire and just spend the rest of your um, life here in Nuuk, Greenland and just, um, so, um, you have to think like maybe a hundred times think it up think about it over you know these these apartments you see those they are extremely expensive the uh, the cost of living here is extremely expensive but you know if you're filthy rich and you know you've got a lot of money and, and everything then yeah feel free to do so uh, a piece of cake I guess but um, um, for both me and my wife we're working extremely hard um, to be able to manage so but basically this is a, an example um, of the condo types of apartments here in Nuuk. Absolutely beautiful from the inside. Um, most of them would come with, um, um, and beware here in Nuuk, Greenland, and I believe it's the same in Denmark, when they say two, two rooms, all right? Two rooms, not two bedrooms, but they, they don't use two bedrooms, they use two rooms. That means just a living room and one bedroom. It doesn't mean two bedrooms, okay? So yeah, so basically for an apartment like this, it comes with one bedroom and a living room. And of course the, you know, the kitchen is also in the living room and everything, but there's other videos on my um, channel. So, but anyways, for you guys to check it out. But just a thought, I guess, just a thought for those um, who are planning to come here to Nuuk and, you know, um, and um, um, wanting to just um, retire and spend, the rest of the day is here in Nuuk. Yeah. I mean, Nuuk has its own um, special way of, of showing how it, its beauty, I guess, and its uniqueness, but also its, its strangeness in so many ways, you know. I mean, just imagine, you know, if you're able to go out 
to see and go see some whales and go out fishing and catch some really awesome fish, you know. So, yeah, that, that, that's fun. It's really fun. And here you can see they're preparing this for the kids, but I don't know um, what's going to be up with that because it has been raining since yesterday. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nuke Greenland and when it's soaking wet because of the rain. And for more tourists, this is uh, one of the museums here. Yeah, um, the one with the pointed um, thing over there. So yeah, that's the museum. All right. Uh, they have this prepared for the kids. I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know. They put this up every year. Um, so, I don't know. It's just... Uh, and then, um, like I said earlier, uh, according to the weather forecast, we, are, we just might be looking into uh, an early winter, early snow. I don't think it'll stay. I don't think it'll last. It'll probably melt the next day. But still, you know, having snowfall as early as September, mm -hmm, not exactly a good thing. So this is now we are, this is the, the main road, one of the main roads right there in front of us so when you're here in Nuuk you don't have to worry about crossing the streets um, you know vehicles if you're gonna cross vehicles will stop for you to cross all right that's that's something that we don't have back home in the Philippines if you're across the street at any point in time whether it's a pedestrian lane or what it doesn't really matter they'll just honk you with their horns and or probably you know it's not gonna end up good um, but here, no. So, um, that's one thing that I really, really like when you're crossing the street. It's safe. Vehicles will stop. They will allow you to cross. Yeah. Okay. So these buildings, these, these are housings also for the locals. Um, these are, um, I believe these are government built. Um, unfortunately, not all of them are in good condition. You, I mean, you can, you can just, I don't know if you can see it properly from the camera from where I'm standing right now, but you know, a majority of them are okay, but a lot of them are also not okay. And, and some of them are just, you know, uh, in terrible, terrible condition, you know, but they're, they're, um, extremely, I mean, not, not as expensive as the ones I showed you a while ago. You know, and I'll show you some more examples. Yeah, but these basically are, you know, um, government owned buildings and apartments. You know, too bad. They, it would be really nice if they'd spend some money on, on fixing those and, you know, I mean, just um, create a balance, I guess. Having a. Uh, having some private buildings really nice and fancy and you know and maybe they should spend a little more money having these fixed and and you know properly designed you know and make it easier for locals i mean you know and you hear me say locals and that that's because even the locals here are having an extremely extremely hard time you know finding places to live um, I don't know the, the whole story behind that, but um, well, well, one thing I know for sure is that back in the days, um, the locals didn't, were not exactly interested in investing money for housing, if that makes any sense. So uh, that, that was one of the main um, reasons why a lot of people are depending on buildings such as these from the government, um, renting them a little way more cheaper than you know what you see in front of me you see there these houses sometimes a house like this you'll have four families four or five families living in a house like this and um, people who spend money you'll have probably four or five owners <laughs> spending money um, to build houses such as such as those or you know buildings such as these in front of us there's the red one the green one the yellow one you know So yeah, housing is extremely difficult and extremely expensive. God help me and my wife. I always pray and hope to God and I just pray every day that God would help us to survive. 
and you know make enough money you know this apartment right here we inquired this one i believe is is um um it, it, it's quite expensive that i can say really expensive oh, you see absolutely beautiful some apartments are fully furnished some apartments are half furnished you have your dishwasher you have your your gas stove oven you have a fridge you have a washing machine and a dryer some of them you know uh, would not have a washing machine or a dryer so press this button we're gonna cross the street you can see right there in front of us I'm gonna take you guys to the center and later on and uh, this is the main road right there in front of us that's the main road going to the city but you know basically almost all the roads here would you know you end up in one place so you see these homes are extremely expensive I can tell you that and they are so difficult Oop, across the street they are so difficult to acquire and um, you know I'm just trying to provide you guys watching this video with and especially people who are thinking about traveling to this part of the world um, giving you more details so my apologies for being a little bit talkative you know but another um, extremely difficult challenge you know is for example these houses in front of us right there you know um, and and along with others like the condo types uh, if you don't have a job here in Greenland you know um, you're not gonna be able to rent any one of those any of them because they would most buildings most apartments they would require um, um, your company to pay um, um, your rent you know so um, but that's just how it is so you'll be extremely lucky if you can find a place where you can just rent it and pay for it you know um, you know from your bank to to whatever if that makes any sense but most of the houses and the buildings around here especially the fancy ones you have to have a company sign for you and and you know either the company would would pay 100 percent of your rent or you know whatever agreement you would have with your company um and in some cases there are a few when the company you could pay 50 50. so housing assistance which is quite cool um let me see and um so again this is the nuke center this is basically the mall the shopping mall here in nuke it's not quite big there's not much inside um you got clothes there's a, a toy store in there for kids um there's a bakery there's a beautiful supermarket inside that i can say it's called pacific um a really big company i believe both in denmark and nuuk um, greenland i mean and this this is one of my favorite stores uh atlantic music yes this is the only music store we have here in new greenland i mean it, it may look tiny from the outside from from the inside it's got a lot of amazing stuff you know for musicians and and you know so yeah uh that's the music store and i don't know 2024 i don't know if you can see this from where i'm at right now in front of us is the old church which is basically being um uh, one of the tourist spots here it's been here for centuries and it's being renovated right now so there is no access i mean you can see it from the outside but you can't go in because it's being it's under renovation yeah and um go okay you see <sighs> so um it's always cold here in greenland i mean at least for me i come from a, i come from a tropical country with beautiful white sand you know and beautiful water beach and warm and sometimes a little too warm but 
it's it's a huge extremely big and difficult you know and a challenging um, challenge to um, transcend from that part of the world to this part of the world which is extremely cold at all times so this is the center we're, we're not gonna go I'm not gonna take you in the center right now we'll probably save that for another video and so we're just basically just basically taking you guys for a walk showing you how nook looks like you know uh, it's wet and There are some pretty cool, cool stores here uh, at the center. And then there's also a coffee shop right there. You know, it's got some good food, you know. And then we're, we're approaching, you know, wind is starting to pick up. Yeah, there's a coffee shop right there. Right. I don't know what they're so fuzzy about, but I don't understand. <laughs> Beautiful kids. I miss my kids. I have I've been away from my kids for um, almost eight months now. I miss my kids enormously. I haven't had the chance to hug them or kiss them and cook food and take them out shopping or you know have dinner together. We haven't done that for almost eight months. So obviously they're preparing for an event. This is an event center. We have concerts and there's some um, yeah, screen for cinema and, and and all that so yeah which is which is quite cool um, you know yeah and there's a beautiful auditorium inside this is where um, I managed to experience playing with one of the world's best um, jazz bands from Denmark so this is where they had their concert introducing jazz music here to Greenland Right, so uh, yeah, has beautiful auditorium in there, beautiful equipment, state of the art. Surprisingly, you think Greenland, you know, it's just no, they, they, it, it's state of the art around here. I mean, thanks to thanks to Denmark, this is the coffee shop right here, um, um, food and coffee, and you know, especially for tourists that are coming from cruise ships. I don't know if there's a cruise ship um, here today, but um, cruise ship season is almost over. Um, by the end of September, there's no more cruise ships, and I'll have to wait for next year's, you know, next season. So you see, we're going to cross the street. Look, uh, he doesn't want to stop. He's obviously in a hurry. So, and this is my favorite store here in Nuuk, Notabene. This is the electronic store where you buy all your electronics, camping equipments, guns. You know, I mean. Um, yeah, fishing gear, camping gear, electronics, you know, home, appli home appliances, a little bit of home appliances also. However, there's another version of this at the center, which has more home appliances, appliances like televisions and, and washing machines and coffee machines and, and, and all kinds of, you know, home goods in comparison to this one. And we have a really nice, amazing friend here. He's from the Philippines. His name is Louis. He does such an amazing job. And here we have the police station right there in front of us, right? We have Miss Mia over there, She's such an amazing lady. She and her colleagues, they're absolutely amazing people. I love them dearly, um, especially when they do, you know, paperwork and stuff. Um, and what else? The bank is right there, the Greenland Bank. We have souvenir, shop, souvenir shops here all over, souvenir shops clothings you know local clothings local brands you know um, yeah there. so for tourists who want to buy clothes that are made from seal seal um, I'm not a big fan because they're such cute creatures but it is what it is yeah and we have the library here, library, it's got free Wi-Fi. So whenever a cruise ships comes, comes in to town, people are just so segregated in this area. There's a bunch of people would be here just for, to grasp, to get some free Wi-Fi from the library right here. And in front of the, the other green building, that's a local bar where people get drunk and wasted. And um, 
yeah, this is the bank. I don't know why, what's, what BDO stands for around here, but, <laughs> but anyways. So how about we go around? We're gonna go around. I'm gonna, uh, and I'll show you another um, supermarket here. It's not, it's not exactly that big. Yeah. And this here is Malu, <laughs> an acquaintance of mine. She's promoting car, I'm, I'm guessing she's promoting car um, um, loans for the bank. Uh, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a story behind it, but I, I don't think, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna mention it. And here we have Sunset Boulevard. This, this place has some pretty cool French fries and burgers, you know sandwiches so and then akiki that yellow thing is a supermarket um, and uh, this is yeah open from 9 till 2100 so i don't know what 2100 i'm not good with military time but yeah and um, but there's another akiki sword i'll show you in just a moment so uh which is open till um one in the morning so but yeah yeah. So what you are guys seeing is not just nuke soaking wet because of rain. I'm just giving you a, a pretty much, you know, tour of, uh, you know, some of the essential stores here in New Greenland, you know, especially for tourists. But I have to warn you though, um, especially for people who take cruise ships and travel here to Nuuk via cruise ship. Uh, there's nothing open. Hey bro, how are you Yes. Uh, they, they recognize me from Facebook. Uh, that's not a bad thing. Um, but this, this store in fashion, this is one, another one of my favorite stores. It's, um, they've got some amazing hoodies, amazing clothes, amazing shoes, um, for all branded, you know, perhaps when I have the enough money, I'll take you guys in and, and show you. And um, next to it, we have the telecommunications company here in Nuuk. Um, it's called Tusis. Yep. Sometimes I pronounce it like two sisters, but <laughs> no, it's called Tusis. This is SIM cards here are free, by the way. Um, yes, you heard that right. SIM cards here are free. The data, however, are ex is extremely expensive. Extremely expensive. Yeah, so... But again, as I was saying, for guys, people coming here from cruise ships is another bar here where you get drunk and wasted and turn into zombies at any point in time. Um... Everything closes up at 5.30 and most shops are closed during Sundays. Like the souvenir stores that I showed you a while ago, they're closed on Sundays. All right, Nota Bene, it's also closed on Sundays. All right, um, electronics, if you're looking for electronics during a Sunday, um, you'll have to go to the center, go to the second floor and they're um, Elegante, that's the name of the store. Um, a sister company for um, Nota Bene, that's where you can get your electronics. All right so um, but yes um, basically everything shuts down at 5 30 so for cruise ships who are staying here um, longer than 5 30 in the afternoon there's basically nothing for you guys to go you just walk around but everything is closed the center will be closed um, coffee coffee shops uh, are open i'm um, like the one that when i showed you at the center that shop it would be open this coffee shop right there is meralda that's gonna be open of course of course the bars are gonna be open and you get a chance to probably meet some early zombies and you know super drunk wasted um, people from all over so it is what it is right so um, yeah and um, and now what you're gonna look at is it's called Brusini this is where my wife worked this is my wife's company she works here she has been since um, the last year and um, it is an extremely beautiful it's a big local company 
and um, it's got a big supermarket home appliances on the second floor um, clothings shoes um, on this part of the building and we have this store store here it's called uh, what is it called right there in front of me you know we have some yeah Picori sport that's what it's called a beautiful store um, ski snow gears sports and gears you know and uh, a lot of amazing stuff right there so yeah interesting stuff and right there you see in front of me I'm gonna show you really whoops cars gonna park and um, this just might be my last stop before I do what I came here to do but sometimes people here locals you know on, on good weather days they put up things where you can buy you know just you know but I'm not gonna say much about that it's not my place not my place but we're gonna take a little detour and I'm, I want to show you something that is extremely amazing and this building that you're looking at in front this beautiful building you know um, it's all brand new it's gonna be the new school here in New Greenland it is state-of-the-art it's got it, it's got everything literally everything if the money they have spent for this school if my calcul if my calculation if my math is right it's correct the money they spent for this school is you can feed the entire Philippines three times over maybe more I am not exaggerating I am not kidding this school is absolutely amazing um, that building alone right there it, it's 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 got its own stadium um, basketball court and, and, and a gymnasium and everything and it's got a re recording studio beautiful studios ballet studios cooking schools it's got, it's got literally everything you know and, and and this is something you know that I think that um, Greenland and the locals both locals and, and Danes should be extremely proud of it it's it's an absolutely beautiful building it's an absolutely beautiful establishment and um, you know I just hope and, and I pray that it'll be a, a beautiful place to um, educate people and and the kids and, and everything you know so two schools um, as I as I was told two schools are gonna be shut down and um, they're all gonna transfer to this new building so congrats on that and um, we wish you all the best and um, I don't know so basically yeah and now we're back at the the road here basically the center is right in front of us yeah and um, yeah this building to my this building to my right is the municipality or in other words the commune they call it the commune here in Greenland yeah right there that's the local municipality here it's a government building and um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the tour and um, I'm just uh, um, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna wait for maybe an hour or so and um, wait for my wife to come out and and we'll pick it up from there so um, if you guys have questions um, anything if you like to ask anything just let me know um, do not hesitate to ask and I'll be more than happy to answer your inquiries especially for those who are planning to travel to this part of the world I don't know if you can see it from here but the ocean is right there the old harbor is literally right there in front of us and there's you know few chunks of ice and tiny tiny and somewhat you know medium-sized um, icebergs floating in the ocean you know um, but it, it's different last year it was more beautiful last year and this year is, is somewhat you know it's just extremely different you know the weather here in Greenland it changes instantly there could be sunlight for a few minutes and then it could be a blizzard the next so anyways again welcome to New Greenland everybody God bless you